everybody. Today's video, I'm going to attempt to dry, to dye this dress dark green using this RIT dye. Um, I got this dress at the thrift store for $10. It's a beautiful boho style white dress. Um, and I actually bought it for my daughter and it was too big for her. So I tried it on and it fits me. And um, my sister's wedding is coming up and her bridesmaids dresses, which I'm a bridesmaid, um, are this exact style. But obviously I can't wear a white dress. So I'm going to try and dye it and see if it works. And then I can wear this for the wedding. And then if not, I can always find a dress to buy. But I thought it would be worth um, dyeing this to see how it turns out because I'll never wear it just plain white anyway. So I'm going to try to dye this in my kitchen. Um, I'm leaving this next week to go to her house and I thought I would do it before I go so I can show it to her once it's done and make sure the color is right. So I thought I would take you guys along on this experiment with me and we'll see how this works out. Okay, so the first thing I need for this is some very hot water. So I went and got my giant pan and I'm letting that heat up, which usually takes forever. While I'm doing that, we got a bunch of sweet potatoes from the food bank. Um, so I'm going to wash some of those off so that I can put them in the oven to bake. We're gonna have some sweet potatoes for dinner. Thought I would show you a few of the other things that we got from the food bank. We got four bunches of asparagus which I already eaten two. We got a whole bunch of these green peppers. I don't know how many. Uh, three, six, nine, twelve that are up here anyway. Um, Excuse me, Mom. I'm going to go. Okay, go ahead. Thanks, Diddy. We got several of these um, blocks of cheese. They're just mild cheddar. And I think we got at least eight of these. A whole bunch. Several of those. We got a whole bunch of coffee creamer. Um, we've got sea salt caramel and vanilla cream. So we've got several of those, probably at least eight bottles, I would say. I haven't counted them. We also got about uh, maybe nine dozen eggs, eight or nine dozen eggs. And what else? Two really big bags of green onions that are downstairs. I'm going to, maybe after I dye my dress, I need to chop those all up and get them in the freezer so they don't go to waste. Um, what else did we get? What? Uh, from the food bank. Got a coffee creamer? Yeah, I got the coffee creamer. Asparagus, green Yeah, is there anything in the freezer? I don't know. I can't remember. So I can remember right now, but it was a good haul for some fresh vegetables and um, things that we actually use, which was really nice. My mother-in-law went and got it for me while I was gone to Missouri and filled up our fridge for us. So I'm gonna wash all these sweet potatoes here and then get them baking in the oven. For baking the sweet potatoes, all I did was scrub them really well under some water and then I started by slicing them so that they had um, some holes in them and wouldn't explode while they were cooking, but I decided it was easier to just cut the ends off of each potato and that way the steam could escape that way. Then I sprayed them all with some olive oil all around the outside and sprinkled salt all over them. I baked them at 425 degrees for about 30 minutes the first time and then I flipped the pan around 180 degrees and baked them for another 30 minutes and they were absolutely delicious. I served them with some butter mixed with brown sugar and cinnamon and also some of us had some chopped pecans on ours and they were so good everyone really liked them. We did end up putting some cream on top too and that made them even better. Okay, this 
water is almost to a boil. Well, it is boiling a little bit. It says to add, um, I'm gonna turn the heat down. It says to add a tablespoon of dish soap. I'm gonna just guesstimate here. I'm dying my dress. And then it also says to add a cup of salt, but I don't have any salt. So I have salt, but not a cup that I'm willing to sacrifice for this. I'm going to turn the heat off and I'm going to dump this whole bottle in here because I want this dress to turn out really dark. So I'm going to use more dye. Um, and then if it's not dark enough after this time, I will do it again. But I've got my apron on to protect my clothes and I'm supposed to wear gloves but I'm not gonna do that either I'm being a daredevil today I'm just gonna dump this in here and then it says to not fold the dress so what I'm gonna do is just start with the bottom and I'm gonna slowly stick it in there and then stir it around with this wooden spoon that I have here I don't want to have any white spots or any lighter colored spots so I'm just trying to make sure everything is thoroughly soaked and um, evenly soaked so that we get don't have any spots that don't have dye in them okay so now I'm gonna put the lid on this and I'm just gonna let it sit here for about 30 minutes it says to try 30 minutes first and then I'm gonna pull it up and check the color I can't really tell a whole lot until it's dry because it says that it looks a lot darker when it's all wet but I'm gonna check it in about 30 minutes and then I may let it sit another 30 minutes before I uh, rinse it out just to make sure it gets nice and dark because that's what I want I don't want it to turn out like pastel green or something I want to make sure it's really nice and dark I, do that, I need to dump my dress out because I think it is done it's been in the water for over an hour and it looks pretty dark so I'm excited to see what it looks like but it's gonna be a process of dumping it into the sink and rinsing it with cold water until it is completely clean which is probably why I need gloves um, because my hands are gonna turn super green if I'm using them to mix and squish out the water and dye so I guess I need to find some gloves before I do that or yeah I probably just need to find some gloves I could also go outside maybe except for it's gonna storm there's a big thunderstorm coming um, but that would have been a good idea to go outside and like try to hang it on the hanger and use the hose to just spray it spray it off anyway I'm gonna find some gloves after we eat but I'm gonna do this first so that we can have some dinner okay good news is I found some gloves so I think I've decided though I'm gonna wait to do this until the kids are downstairs watching a movie because I don't want them to like come and touch the get dye on them I don't want them to get dye on their skin or on their clothing so obviously I didn't wait for the kids to go downstairs. They were all really curious about what was in this pan that I had been messing with all afternoon. And they wanted to see how the dress turned out because it was a fun experiment to do to see what color it was going to be after we dyed it. Okay, the lighting in here is not very good. But this is kind of what it's turning out like. Not all green, but that's okay. We're going to keep going it almost looks black but I still have to wash it and dry it and then we'll see how it turns out okay well the lighting in here is really awful I don't know if I have anywhere that would make it better <laughs> I'll try this end nope that's not any better and it's dark outside now because of the rain but maybe you can see the way that it turned out this part that dyed is very dark green it's really pretty actually I really like it I just don't know if it's gonna work for 
what I want it for. So I'm gonna take a picture and send it to my sister, see what she thinks about it. Let's try this light, maybe this light's better. I don't know. It's hard to tell, it's like greenish. It is dark green, it's very dark green. It's just hard to tell with this bad lighting, so. I think it turned out fine, at least I'll wear it again, but I just don't know if I can wear it for the wedding, so I'm gonna take a picture and show it to my sister, see what she thinks about it. All right, friends, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I am gonna go downstairs and watch a movie with my kids and enjoy spending some time with them. So I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.